I've felt a little bit silly for years because I've been using and advocating for Angular, meanwhile publishing multiple sites and courses about Angular that were built with React, Svelte, but never Angular. This is the decision I stand behind though because these sites and courses are content driven static sites and Angular just hasn't been a good option. React with Gatsby and SvelteKit provided the features I needed mostly out of the box, but Angular just didn't have the features required. But now Analog has entered the scene, a meta framework for Angular, and it has changed the equation completely. Many of you have probably at least heard of Analog by now. It brings a bunch of the traditional meta framework features to Angular along with some more spicy things as well. But this video is going to focus on what it brings to the table for content driven sites or at least the subset of things that I am using. I've been working on porting my sites from SvelteKit to Analog, and initially I was just hoping for a developer experience that was at least somewhat close to what I could get with other options. Maybe it would be a bit more painful, but at least my Angular courses would actually be built with Angular. But the developer experience with Analog is turning out to be better than what I had built previously with SvelteKit, which has otherwise been my favorite SSG tool so far. In some cases, I've been able to rewrite features in Analog that were significantly more complex with SvelteKit, which is not at all how I was expecting this to turn out. This does come with a few major caveats. Uh, I like Angular, I'm good with Angular, so naturally I'm going to be biased toward an Angular solution. At the same time, I'm not that good with Svelte and SvelteKit, so what I've built with it might not be optimal, and so this isn't even close to being an objective comparison. And what I'm building is probably pushing the limits of what should realistically be done with an SSG site and probably isn't the best case for comparing frameworks. I want to be clear this isn't a dig at SvelteKit, I'm just stoked that I can finally use Angular for this. So let's take a look at some of the powerful things you can do with Analog for content sites using the refactor I am working on and all the esoteric requirements it has as an example. Before we get into the weirder stuff though, I feel it's important to mention Analog also supports more simple use cases. For example, with Analog, any component can use Markdown for its template, which is pretty cool, and you can even embed components within those Markdown templates. This gives us an experience somewhat similar to something like MDX that allows you to mix JSX with Markdown. But the limitation of this approach is that we are just creating standard components that use Markdown for the template. We aren't really generating content files. Often we would want to have some directory or directories full of Markdown files containing blog posts, for example, or in my case, modules and lessons. Then we would want to render those out to some page on our site, typically using the slug as the route. Analog supports this for standard Markdown files out of the box. But Analog also supports AGX files, which are essentially Analog's equivalent of MDX files with React or SVX files in SvelteKit. These are content files like normal Markdown files, but instead of being limited to just standard Markdown, we can use the full power of Analog components. Like MDX allows using JSX within Markdown files, AGX allows using Angular and Analog syntax and components within Markdown files. This means we can add whatever logic we like, embed other components, use control flow syntax, and we can still even add front matter for these files. So you can see for my Angular course, for example, I have a ton of different AGX files in here for each of the lessons. These lessons contain a bunch of metadata in the front matter and also embed other components like this reveal component and quiz components. Then I can access and embed this content from within my standard routes. For example, I have this modules route that I use to display a list of all of the modules in the course. And these modules are defined using AGX files. I can use the front matter of my AGX files to find all of the content files that are modules and then list them here. Similarly, I have a page that displays all of the lessons within a module. This is also data that is contained within the front matter of the AGX files for the modules. Then finally, we have the route for the lesson itself. There is a bunch of interesting stuff going on here that I'm not going to get fully into, but the basic idea is that based on the current route and the front matter from the AGX files, I am able to dynamically inject not only the relevant lesson being viewed, but also either the preview version of that lesson or the full lesson based on whether or not the user is authenticated. This means I actually need to have a duplicate preview version of every single lesson. Since Analog uses Vite, I'm able to create this simple generate previews Vite plugin that handles duplicating the file. 
and it also modifies the front matter of the preview file so that it contains this is preview flag. Then, since Analog supports this markdown template transforms option, I am able to supply my own pipeline for passing markdown. By default, Analog uses marked, but I created this AGX Remark Rehype plugin so that I can use the Remark Rehype ecosystem instead, which allows me to use any plugins from that ecosystem along with my own custom plugins. One of which is this preview plugin that will check for the is preview property in the front matter of the AGX files that was just added by the Vite plugin. And if the is preview property is present, it will trim the abstract syntax tree for that file down to a percentage of its original length. So now I have one version of the content I can load that is the full version and one that is a shortened preview version and this is all handled automatically. This is just one of the custom plugins I'm using and just one of the weird situations I'm handling. Much of this weirdness is in service of creating an end product that has reasonably complex features, but it's ultimately just a bunch of static files I can easily deploy anywhere. All I need on top of this is some simple cloud functions to handle logging in, and a Cloudflare worker that prevents people from loading these static files from certain URLs if they are not authorized. I don't expect that these things are going to be common use cases for people. My point is that Analog is now extremely powerful and flexible for the needs of content sites. If it can handle all of the weird use cases I am throwing at it and pass with flying colors, it is probably going to be a great option for many situations. Of course, if you want to actually check out my Angular course, you can find a link to that in the description. For now, it is still running on SvelteKit, but I'm kind of obsessed with porting everything over to Analog now, so hopefully that won't be the case for long. If you like this video, please consider a like or subscribe before you go, and I hope to see you back here again.